Thank you for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Micah Smith. Let's get right to our top stories. King Supers is meeting with union representatives this afternoon to try to come up with an agreement. Union workers have been on strike for six days. The union sent out a statement saying those employees will continue to strike throughout the bargaining process. A Denver man is in jail accused of hitting three women with his car in a motel parking lot during a domestic dispute. Adams County deputies say 36 year old Manuel Handboy went to the Red Rock Motel Saturday afternoon. The victims were carrying items from one car to another when Handboy sped up and slammed into them, flipping his car. Two women recovered. One is still in critical condition. He's facing two counts of attempted first degree murder, among other charges. State health officials predict COVID hospitalizations from the current Omicron variant will peak this week. They say that during this current wave, Colorado hospitals are seeing more people with incidental COVID-19 cases. That means people who are admitted for another reason besides the virus, then test positive during their hospital stay. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. And it is going to be a really warm start to the week this morning, stepping out the door to upper 20s and low 30s, pretty close to freezing, uh, mainly clear skies. It's going to be a beautiful, pretty bright sunrise this morning. We'll see 20s and 30s early on and then warm up quickly. In fact, should be well into the 50s by lunchtime. Plenty of sunshine and dry conditions statewide today. We are tracking a bit of a change by midweek. We're going to see some mid to even upper 50s both today and tomorrow, and then it's going to get cooler. We'll drop down into the 30s with a chance for some light snow by midweek.